Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a fun and engaging drilling game that will help your students speak English faster. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and for the past eight years I've been working and living in China as a teacher, manager and recruiter. So if you're teaching ESL abroad, make sure you subscribe to Mooncake below for weekly ESL teaching tips. Today I'm going to be explaining a fun and engaging drilling game that's going to get your students practicing vocabulary from any subject. Now this game can be used to practice vocabulary for specific subjects such as pets or ocean animals or it can be used as a review for the end of school semester. So let's go straight into it and talk about today's game Silly banana. Do the thing. Do the thing. Yay! Now, in this example, I'm going to be using the subject pets and the sentence structure what's this? It's a dog. It's a cat. You're going to need flashcards of all the vocabulary that you want to practice and of course one silly banana flashcard. In this game I'll be using the vocabulary dog, cat, fish and bird. Now to get started we're going to position the class in a semicircle with you the teacher in the middle. You're going to present the flashcards one by one asking the target sentence structure what's this as you do. Students then need to reply as a group with the correct answer. It's a dog. It's a fish. When it comes to the silly banana flashcard, however, the whole class needs to shout silly banana, stand up and switch places. You can then mix up the cards and go again as students will be really engaged and waiting for that silly banana card to reappear. Now to help keep students engaged, you can change what you want them to do when they see the silly banana. Maybe you want them to jump five times or clap three times or stamp their feet. Now this is a great drilling game because it keeps students engaged whilst repeating vocabulary again and again. And as I mentioned, you can adjust it to suit any subject or teaching level. If my students were not yet speaking sentences and I needed to make it a bit easier, I might adjust it to simply repeating the words. So if I was teaching ocean animals, I would repeat shark and octopus. In terms of classroom management, it's really important that we're in a space big enough to move around in, especially if students are going to be switching seats. And this game is super fun, so it's easy for kids to get overexcited. If you need to calm things down, just make sure you change what you ask the students to do when they see the silly banana. Maybe they just need to blow three times or blink their eyes. So that's it, Silly Banana, a fun and engaging drilling game that will help your students speak English faster. Try it out in your class and let me know how it goes in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below for more videos from Mooncake. Banana outtakes, 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 ban